if you come to you sanjeev i mean uh, you know you you probably got that star uh, funding right now so it's probably very very new um with uh, you having raised that uh, big round from naspers so you know as a social commerce company and um, uh, perhaps you are one of the first ones successfully doing it in india uh, how did it really come to happen for you how did it work out and i mean you know i know naspers from earlier and i know they one of the main aims as a fund has always been to take companies global and to see that one idea can one button work in one market it can work in other markets also uh, so how do you propose to use this funding and i mean you know i what i realized is that there are a lot of practices today which uh, startups have for raising a series a or a pre series a but what about one one has raised a series a how does this funds get deployed you know how because obviously at right now the the experimentation is now over so you have to be a little more focused about how you use your funds so what are the best practices of deploying a series a investment to get bigger and better results for future those are a lot of questions definitely <laughs> <laughs> i'll i'll try to answer them as they, as i remember so um the first one was uh, probably how did we discover social commerce why did we even start social commerce working on social commerce when there was no company in india doing it um i think one insight uh, which has been very useful in hindsight is that um ideally you should always uh, pick a particular industry and then spend a lot of time there to kind of get hold of the core problem that that industry is facing uh, to give you example in our case we didn't start with social commerce um we started with something which was uh, hyper local fashion marketplace we used to we now call it swiggy for fashion but what it just simply did was map stores around you and then you had option of trying before buying as a service now that didn't work out we ran it for 2 3 months we realized multiple problems um but the good thing about that was that we uh, we uh, used to talk to our those shopkeepers a lot and they this was 2015 mid and they had started leveraging whatsapp to stay connected to their customers so whenever they used to get naya uh, saman they would send it on whatsapp saying ki sir ye naya hai if you are interested kharido so then we started exploring ki acha social commerce is picking up now where uh, else this this happening definitely facebook me to ho hi raha tha so there there were few shopping groups then uh, with 2 uh, lakh 3 lakh members uh, dedicated to buying and selling Uh, so both sellers and buyers added there. So it was a mini marketplace kind of thing. So that was when we realized that no, there is this thing called social commerce, and this is picking up really well. Um, the next step, which is very important for startups to do, is kind of before doing anything, building a product, uh, even thinking of building a product, just talk to your customers, figure out what is their problem. So we had a lot of interactions with them. Then we realized that maybe payments is a problem for them. Maybe they need a micro website like Shopify. So then we built the first version, uh, which was more like Shopify for India, which was only giving them micro websites. But then that uh, um, that scaled decently well, not uh, as good as we had expected. We went to Y Combinator with that. Then we realized. and again talking to your customers is very important so we kept talking to them figuring out what are the new problems and then we stumbled upon the core problem which was for them to discover and fulfill the supply because these smaller sellers on individual level have no leverage on suppliers so how do you keep supplying fresh catalogs to them so that is when the core the current misho model uh, that we are running now uh, that was born so we did second pivot which was in 2017 early which is feb around yeah feb 2017 and since then we have started scaling really quickly and that is after we raised series a so yeah i think your second question um good practices after series a yeah, yeah definitely yeah series a is decent amount of money so i think in our case we raised about 3.1 million uh, lead investor was saf um before that we already had a 40 people team uh in tech there were just five people um and i was a tech co founder so yeah that it was a high performing team uh, and the remaining uh, whatever 35 40 people all handling business customer support supplier support everything and uh, so yeah after that uh, we created dedicated teams uh, teams or and when i say team it could be just a single guy which could be just head of growth who just started to build a team 
or in some cases single handedly pulling it uh, but yeah so you we then created dedicated teams for different verticals in the business which could be for example growth customer support product we brought the first product guy after series a uh, before that we used to do it ourselves yes so <laughs> so um yes so i think uh, creating dedicated verticals and figuring out and giving responsibilities to them that is very important i think the next uh, and this happens i think when you're closing the round as well probably you have to kind of agree on certain metrics and projections of those metrics with your investors so you have to kind of start tracking few metrics on a daily weekly monthly basis as they come so identifying those metrics and making sure they are reflecting uh, kind of long term growth of the business and not doing short term hacks uh, that is very important and i think making your investors agree to it and taking their buy in is very important because at the end it's your company right so you you would probably and you're spending so much time a uh, very few people out there in the world would be kind of knowing have such insights that you have about your company so i think uh controlling the the direction of the company is very important and that too with the with taking your uh, taking buy in from your investors and definitely your team so i think that becomes really important